Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can force update your Samsung Galaxy S20 or the S20 Ultra or the Plus to Android 11. Now you can see I have Android 10. I've been waiting and waiting and there are no update to Android 11. So we're going to um, force it to update with a uh, ROM that I have downloaded. So you can see it's still using One UI version 2.5. And this is on my uh, Galaxy S20 Ultra. So what you need to do first is to download the files. Now this is the ROM file that I have downloaded. Now I'll give you some uh, instruction in the description how you can download these files. And this is um, quite a large uh, ROM file. This will be used to flash onto the Galaxy S20 that I have right here. You also need the olden software to help you flash the file. Once you have downloaded the file, you need to unzip it. So I'm going to place them into this folder here. This is the folder that I have created. And now it will extract and put the five files into the new folder that I have created. Once it has finished uh, copying the file, we need to uh, put our phone into download mode. So at the moment, it's on, so we need to turn it off. So I'm just going to let it load up. So power it down. The next step is we need to plug the USB cable um, into the computer. So have the other end plug into your computer already. Have the computer turn on. And then we're going to press on the volume up and volume down key. And while these two keys is pressed, you need to plug it in so that you can put your phone into download mode. So let's have a look. So first press on the two keys, volume up and volume down press, and then we're gonna plug it in like this. Make sure that the end is already plugged into the computer. Press and hold, and you can see it goes straight to the download mode. So warning, a custom ROM can cause critical problems. That's okay. We're going to press on the volume up to continue. And now we're in download mode, so that's fine. So now on over here, I'm going to go back and open up the olden software. I have already extracted the olden software. So we go on here and launch olden. Then click on the OK button. And you can see if um, you plug it in and if the software found an active connection, it will show us right here. Otherwise it would not. So let's, if I unplug it, you can see it shows remove. So I'm just gonna plug it back in so you can see. And it shows there. All right, so it now has been added. And what we need to do is go to the ROM folder and we need to select the files in Olden. So over here you can see it has five different text fields. And over here I have five different files. So over here it says BL, so you want to click on that. And then you want to go to this folder here. Go to the folder where you have extracted the files. And we click on BL. So BL will allow you to select BL file. For AP file, you click on the AP button and you select AP from the folder right there. So you select the AP file for CP. So this one here may take some time and say please wait. So be patient and wait for it to load into your own software. Okay, after that, we're gonna choose CP and then click on CP in the folder. And next, we're going to choose CSV. Now, this CSV is quite important. There are two different um, files, CSV underscore OMC or home underscore CSV. Now, if you want to keep your data, keep all your files, apps, and data, you select uh, home CSV. If you want to do a clean flash, that means everything is fresh, you choose CSV. So this is very important that you choose the correct file if you want to preserve your data. So choose home CSE. In my case, I'm gonna choose uh, home CSE because I want to keep my data in apps. And we just don't have to wait for that to load up. Okay, that's all you have to do. Now we're ready to click on the start button. And it says setting up connections. And then it's now 
uh, going through all the setup process. So we're just gonna wait. And in here on my mobile device, you can see the progress bar already starting. Again, we're just gonna wait for it to finish. Uh, once it's finished, there should be a, a green uh, light. So I'm just gonna post the video now while it's uh, updating. Okay, once it's finished, you see it's a green light with pass and your phone will restart a few times uh, to update itself. Okay, it shows that it's finished, so let's test it out. And I'm just gonna put in my um, key. It does look different on uh, the home screen or the lock screen right there. So I'm just gonna cancel this one. So it asked me to select a home screen. Uh, a lot of things happening. I'm gonna choose that one always so now I'm loading up to my home screen so there it is uh, my home screen and I'm going to go into settings so still finishing up system update and then I'm going to go down to software I'm going to choose um, about phone uh, software information and here we got Android version 11 with One UI 3.0. So hopefully you can get it going. Uh, yeah, um, look for the, the information in the description on how you can uh, download your uh, ROM file. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has helped you out. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.